The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today we're gonna talk about man that boy Lil Dirk turned down PC while he in federal holding, uh, while he pretty much waiting on his trial. Let's jump straight into it. Once it was that, it was that. Once it was like then, it was everything was his. Yeah. You know, I feel bad for I can't. I can't help like shit. Where you from? What you got going? I, I, I'm into it. Yeah. Man, what? Some PC? I Hey. <laughs> hey, I respect your mind forever. You know the one the one sad thing is that little dirt you could tell man that you know it, he still ain't learned you know what i'm saying brother your life and your freedom is on the line right now and the main thing that you worried about is getting out to the world that you ain't in pc that you in general population because the only reason more than likely little dirt call home and these people that made this video and put it out is that to, to, to let it be known that smirk you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to PC and he in good spirit, which rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? But you got way bigger fish to fry than to be worried about that. You need to be getting your discovery package and you need to be looking at who, and finding out who them co-conspirators is. You know what I'm saying? All of this extra stuff, man, is what got smirk in this situation. Trying to, to, to be something that he not. You know what I'm saying? People think because... You know, you gravitate to street dudes or street dudes around you or whatever the case that you got to be them. And that's not always the case. You can grow up in the hood and be a successful black man and don't never pick up a strap. Don't never, don't never uh, uh, slide on no odd block. Just because you come from an area or your friends or your associates is members or them real people, that don't mean that you got to be one. And I feel like that's what Smirk messed up at. You know what I'm saying? 10, 12 years ago, when your career was, was on the downfall after you left Def Jam, I ain't see all of these people trying to get you to do all of this type of stuff. I didn't see you having the peer pressure to feel like you had to do this or do that. You know what I'm saying? You wait till you get, till you start working with the mayor, to, to, to Sony give you a $40 million deal, to everything, every album you didn't touch the last three, four albums going platinum, you getting close to a million dollars a show, you want to wait till now to, 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 to allegedly do something like that. And that's the part that I don't respect about Smirk because I feel like you let those dudes around you put a battery in your back. You sat here and let the fans troll you, oh, you Sly for Vaughn, Sly for Vaughn, Sly for Vaughn. Man, I would have looked at those, uh, at those comments and been like, I'm in a mansion right now. I got $3 million worth of jury. I got this, I got that. Y'all go. Y'all go do what y'all got to do. Or if the people around me want to do it, go do it. Hey, man, y'all do what y'all do. Y'all won't be using no OTF credit card. <laughs> I won't be paying for y'all to get there. I, 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 listen, do what y'all going to do. Because at this point in Smirk life, it's not about being gangster no more. It's about taking care of them kids, taking care of them responsibilities, taking care of them bills. When you taking care of 30, 40 people, I can guarantee you Smirk taking care of over 20 people. You know, from d thing kids to his kids to his baby mama to his mama, his daddy, his aunties, his close loved ones. You know what I'm saying? His uncles, this and that. I can guarantee you Smirk was taking over, tell me, taking care of over 20 people. Now, who going to take care of them 20 people now? You think Lamron gonna step up? You think O'Block gonna step up? You think any BDs gonna step up? They was counting on him. That's what happened when you the breadwinner. You always protect the breadwinner. You know, even if y'all felt like y'all wanted to go do that for Vaughn, y'all should have never, they should have never threw dirt nowhere near the equation. This ain't your life, Smirk. Cause if you get if you go down, we all done. You know what I'm saying? At least if we get caught, we got a millionaire friend that's still established in the music industry. 
They ain't got nobody right now. Keith ain't really messing with them. Vaughn gone. Schmirk, to me, was the last one. Who else really established in the music industry that's really connected to the Chicago BDs? You, you, you could probably say Polo G, but I don't think he's going to be passing out no bread. You could probably, I mean, who else really? You know, Lil Zay, he locked up. It ain't really too many people. You know what I'm saying? You, well, you can say Chucky, you know, with G Herbo. Well, okay. No uh, no limit. Okay, so okay. Yeah, now that I think about it, it's a couple people, but man, I, 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 I wish Lil Dirt the best, man. You know what I'm saying? But let this just be a life lesson, man, that just because you hang around real people or you got real steppers around you, that don't mean that you got to be them. In the same way, vice versa. Everybody ain't a Grammy, Grammy, a Grammy winning platinum selling artist. Everybody ain't no street dude. Everybody got their own path in life. If somebody go down a path and it don't work out well, it's not up to you to throw your life and your freedom away to try to get street justice. You could try it if you want to, but if you don't do it right, you see what situation you might be in. So ask yourself before you go slide and get that get back. Is it worth your life? You're in your freedom? If so, go ahead. But I'm telling you now, this ain't worth it. I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. But your boy Lil Dirt, he turned down PC. You know, he seemed like he in good spirits, you know. Uh, of course, we know he made this video to let the fans know, you know, he... he you know, he ain't checking in the PC, but I look at it as, bro, you got way bigger fish to fry, bro. You better find out who telling on you, bro. <laughs> Forget that PC theory. Love y'all, though, man. D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media, you feel me? <laughs>